Yeah, I mean, obviously disappointed with uh, the result and, you know, how it shook out. I think there's some positives. You know, I've I, I played lo a long time and know that, you know, it's never as good, it's never as bad. And so, you know, I think with a young football team, I think there's a lot of opportunities for us to learn from today. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, really important for us to get back to work uh, and make sure that we correct some of the things that didn't go our way today. So, um, you know, it's disappointing. You know, you come out, you expect yourself to play well and, and to, to win. And, um, you know, just had some things that kind of got off, off schedule and uh, had some self-inflicted wounds. And when you do that, um, it puts you in a tough spot to overcome. I think it's both, you know. I think that um, you certainly have to practice well, which I think we've been doing. Uh, I think our young guys played quite a bit during the preseason. And, you know, every snap that they take is, is going to be good for them, you know, as they move forward. Um, but, you know, across the board, I think there's always, you know, a good jump from week one to week two. And uh, even though it was a tough result today, I think there are some positives. I thought we started fine, you know, came out and did some good things early. And uh, got to be better when we get down in the red zone. And then, you know, can't have penalties and, and things like that um, that kind of put us off schedule down there. Well, I, th I thought they came in and played a lot of zone coverage and, um, you know, try to keep everything in front and trust their four man rush to, to get home. Uh, and obviously, their defensive line played well tonight. So uh, I don't think it was anything, you know, that we we're unprepared for coming in. You know, I think it was a lot of zone coverage, which we expected, and we knew we had to play well up front uh, and stay on schedule and get into drives and try and wear them down. And we did a good job of that early, uh, but we were not able to sustain that as we move forward in the game. I'm sorry, I didn't hear all of your yeah. question. Yeah, sorry. Well, I think, you know, that's that's part of, of being a head coach is, is taking responsibility for those things. And I appreciate Arthur saying that. I think from, from the same point as players, we've, we've got to do our part too and uh, put in the work and, and make sure, you know, that we're getting ourselves ready to go. And so um, as disappointing as it is today, I think that, you know, your mindset constantly has to be on what's in front of you. And so, you know, collectively, uh, we've all got to be better in terms of our preparation next week. And, uh, we've got to make sure we stay on schedule and are efficient. You know, I thought when we were, we moved the ball really effectively. Um, we just need to be consistently efficient throughout the game. No, I'm good. Yeah, I thought, you know, I thought he did some good things um, for, the, for the first time. We were kind of choppy in the passing game. And so, you know, I think that, uh, you know, makes it difficult on guys. But, you know, a really good catch on a seam route, um, you know, showed that he can, you know, catch a ball through contact, which is what you want. You know, I think he's only going to continue to get better for us. And uh, I think it's good, you know, always as young players to have that first one under your belt. But I thought he did a good job for us. I don't think so. You know, I think it, you know, I, I think it comes down to um, when you're in known passing situations uh, and, and you're playing against a really good defensive front four and they can tee off, it makes it difficult to, to you know, stay in rhythm. We, we knew coming into it, we had to be efficient first and second down. We had to stay in front of the chains and we had to, you know, kind of hit in our spots uh, and stay out of a lot of known passing situations. No, I think, you know, that sometimes that's how the game shakes out. You expect yourself to be down there quite a bit. And so small sample size today, you know, I think we got to get down there more than we were, give ourselves more opportunities. But you're right. You know, when we get our chances, uh, we got to take a look at the film and, you know, clean up some of the things that we didn't do well down there. Um, I think when you, you know, push yourself back and you have opportunities from two and you kind of work your way back, uh, that certainly doesn't help.
Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, some of those things of, of penalties kind of moving you back, not allowing you to get that first first down. You know, a lot of the time we talk about let's get that first first down, get into our tempo and keep moving uh, and try and wear down a defensive front line. And, you know, you have to be really good in that first set of downs uh, to be able to get into it. And early we were, um, you know, but later in the game we were not. No, I mean, I, I thought we did a nice job early of giving ourselves opportunities in the red area. That's what you want. Uh, I thought Art did a nice job, um, you know, kind of getting us going, moving the ball. Um, as the game wore on, you know, just how it shook out, we didn't really have that chance. Uh, and so you don't know that. But I thought he did a fine job early in the game. For sure. You know, you tell them we've all been there. You know, I remember uh, my second game in the league. We went down to Tampa, and in the first half, I think I was like 3 of 22, something like that. It might, not have, it might have been uglier than that. I'm not really sure. But it happens, you know, and, and you've got to – it's hard when you put yourself out there, you know, and, and you're going against good guys on the interior. It's a really good opportunity for him to learn, you know, from, from this game, where he's at in terms of his technique and – um, that's what I tell them. We've all been in that spot, man. Keep pushing forward. Uh, concentrate on technique and what you're doing uh, in practice and, and focus on constant improvement. Yeah, I think there's some positives to take away from that. I thought our backs ran hard. I really do. Um, I thought Mike and CP ran hard. Um, we just needed to do a better job later in the game of getting into, you know, getting into some drives, getting you know a couple first downs and get rolling. Because uh, I think early in the game we did that, and you saw them starting to finish runs and runs coming out the back end for big games. Thank you. Thank you.